What's going on, everybody? My name is Chris, and welcome back to more Let's Play Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottle. In the last episode, we finished up with Spongebob's Dream, which is my favorite level. <laughs> it's a lot shorter than I remember it being. In this episode, we only have two levels left, two actual levels. Minus the Chum Bucket, Shenanigans, we have Kelp Forest, the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. So, let's start out with the freaking Kelp Forest, shall we? We have 1337 um, shiny objects. Wow, I'm still calling them Starbucks. That, that's probably because last night I just edited a whole bunch of um, this uh, these episodes. I literally started editing we are this in series. The Kelp Forest, an interesting area with many sights to see. For those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Oh yeah, use this cowboy hat to destroy a wall. That's awesome. There we go. Oh, I don't even know where that is. Did I ever come across that area? That's kind of weird. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I finally started editing this series last night. It's going up. First episode's going up tonight. Let's give you guys a hint of kind of like how. Whoa, Look at this thing hurts you. Jeez. Just give you guys kind of a general idea of like how long in advance the series was recorded. <coughs> Excuse me, with no reason other than because. But alright. Oh no, don't fall to the goo water stuff. This cup forest, it really is actually pretty easy to get lost here. This hand thing, it's weird because I think this is the only one you see in this entire level. It's like, oh, okay then. Is there something up there? There is. Oh, well, we come from that way. Alright. Okay, so let's try and not get lost. But <laughs> let's face it, it's gonna happen. <clears throat> oh, my, I have to get my voice over. I'm actually recovering from getting sick. Uh, I might have ah, mentioned that last episode, or recording session rather. Ah. Actually, we have two socks right in our sights right now. The first two socks in this level. There's seven in this level. I don't even have to check this time. Alright, the first one is really weird, and I don't really get why they did this. You see these shtikis? Oh, great. You actually have to destroy them. Uh, let's see if we can do that. Seriously! Can we do this? Ah, nope. What? What a butthead. Ah, there we go. No? Hello? What? I swear you have to destroy these ones. What did I miss? Are they in a different area? Do I have to respawn them? Did I mess up because I didn't kill them all at once? Let's try respawning and see if that works. That was weird. Well, I kind of expected that sock to appear, but no, it did not. Let's try and destroy them all at once. I was going to say, let's do it from the other way, but maybe... Could we do it from the other way? Try this. Oh boy. Can you do it from here? Uh, there we go. Oh, I guess we do have to destroy them all at once. That's weird. I wonder why that didn't show up. Because on the video I saw of this, the person did the same thing I did, where he destroyed all of them but one because one of them disappeared. But no, it didn't work. Okay, well, anyway. Oh god, I forgot about you guys. <coughs> that was definitely worth it. Anyway, there's actually another soccer right here. You actually have to sneak up on these shtikis, jump up on them, and then do not miss these jobs. Yeah. No! Oh, I thought for sure that shockwave was gonna send me flying! And jump up here. As far as I know, this is the only way to get up here. And there we go. And I think that's all we can do with that. Alright, I guess, see, it doesn't give you the introduction to these robots, and I don't remember their names. Well, what a shame. Is there anything else this way? Oh, they give you a lot, too. Oh, I believe I knew that. Alright, let's go over here. There seems to be a camp set over here. Oh, Mrs. Poof! Mrs. Poof! Really? That does take me right here, but that's... You can see that area right from here. It's not like that's a difficult area to get to. That's weird. you think that would be put at the end of the level. Hi, Mrs. Puff. Driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Why, why do you say that? 
do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> that's silly. Uh, I'm just uh, gathering twigs for silly. the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Wow. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean uh, campers, off into the forest. Uh, before the oh, ranger great. arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. Well then, what a terrible person. What a terrible teacher. She just abandons her children. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Pup. I'm the sponge for the job. <clears throat> Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure I give you a nice reward when you found all of them. Alright, there seems to be six. I'm not entirely sure if they're all in this area of the level, if they're in the other areas as well. I don't think they are, actually. I think they are spread out. Here's a ranger tent, but there's clearly no one in there. <laughs> uh, maybe that's just for when he gets here. That's his tent. Um, I think we can do something with this. Yeah, we can. There's a mini cutscene. It's really weird because there's no sound effects. It just closes on you, waits a few seconds, and opens. It's really strange, to be honest. There we go. So you saw for the cutscene, those things actually like explode, and that somehow responds the other one. I don't know. It's like you would imagine res responding would look a lot more nice and not explodey, but apparently not. But okay, I'll take it. I'll take it because that's all I can get. Is there anything up here? Oh boy. Well. Doesn't appear to be unless I jump away. How come that's hitting me? Seriously? God dang it, Arf. And your Arf dogs. I don't remember the name of it. Alright, well, oh, bad idea. Bad idea. What? You're still not dead? For realsies? Uh, oh, my. I didn't think that was him. But it was worth a try. Why? What the? What do they. What? Animal abuse much? Jeez, I mean, sure, they're robots, but still, it's a bit harsh. Anyways, there's these weak platforms. I think we stand on them long enough to crawl. Yeah, see that? Fall up! Oh, there's a soccer bird. No, that's a good spatula. Oh, okay, so we jump up here, then here, then here. What's this? I think we have our chesty cruise control bubble thing. Yeah. Ah, there we go. That pushes those up. The children'ses. There's a children'ses over there, guys. I was looking up here. Ah, I figured that would happen. Oh, see, there's a whole, whole bunch of crap up there, apparently. Yeah, could you guys tell my nose? Oh my god, Lord, I thought the leaf was lower than that. Could you guys tell my nose is all stuffed up still? I don't know, maybe you can. <coughs> I found a camper! Yay, oh, I should get money for this. I mean, seriously? God damn. It's hard to tell because there's the bouncy leaves, which are slightly browner. And then there's the, uh, the like, platform leaves that just full up for a few seconds that are slightly lighter, but it's really hard to tell the difference. Apparently, we need Patrick for this. Alright, let's keep going this way then. See if there's anything else we can do with SpongeBob. Because I really don't recall. I do look up videos ahead of time to check to remind myself where the socks are so I don't walk past them at least as much as I have. In the past, like at least few first levels. How do you guys even see me from here? Seriously? All right. Oh, jeez. Dude, this fire hits me from way farther away. That should. Oh god, I'm gonna die. You also need to die. You also need to die. I thought you were a spot. Right. Oh, it's a duplication charge. Oh great. Oh, so it's just a fire. I thought it was gonna be one of the other big bots. No. Bad business to bot, ready. Where's, oh, there he is. Those guys will tax us forever. Forever! Thankfully, there's someone easy to avoid. Is this really it? Well, that's it. We're done with this whole push level, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you. No, it's good. Okay. I believe there's something else where that purple shiny object is that we can get to as SpongeBob. Yeah, there's so many freaking waterfalls on this level, we really have to play with the sounds. So oh, there's a sock right there, it looks like. There's a spatula. Mm -hmm. Oh god! There's another freezy fruit. By another, I mean I think that's the first one I've seen. Alright. You need to leave me alone. Leave Christopher alone. Not Brittany, but Christopher. My name is not Brittany. What the? 
Oh, those are bubbles coming out of that thing right next to the board of the screen right there. See that? I saw bubbles coming out of it. It looked like a sleeping enemy or something. Like a sleeping time robot. A very tiny sleeping time robot. Yup, they exist. I don't know. Probably not, actually. Uh, is there anything down here? Nope, doesn't seem to be. I'm still gonna grab that. Well, I guess we're going to the bus stop now. It doesn't seem we can do anything else with SpongeBob. I mean, there's other children here, I just don't know how to get to them, at least from here. If I get to that, it doesn't look like it. Well, we do have an entire section of this patch we can play, so let's see what that does for us. Is anything this way, first of all? Nope, 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 nope. I gotta make uh, mention of the music as well here. Nope, can't throw to the switches. This especially reminds me of the hot summers. Hello, lady. Hi, Patrick. Uh sure. Okay. Sure thing, lady. So the, uh, uh, yeah, I remember playing this game, or at least this level in particular, just in the really like, hot portions of summer where, I'd, like, I had no AC in my last house we had, and that. Where the heck do we? Where, where's the? Oh, there's a the platform over here. No. I need the platform from what? What are they not by Mrs. Puff? I guess I'm checking your Mrs. Puff too well, but still. But yeah, so in my last house we didn't have AC. And I mean, I do live in Canada. People don't seem a lot of people don't seem to understand that yes it gets extremely cold here in the winter, but it also gets extremely hot here in the summer. Uh, I, I would give you well I, everyone for everyone not living in the states like in my particular city it does get to like plus 45 degrees Celsius um, that's about as hot as it goes in the summer and like in in the winter it goes to like easily minus 45 it was minus 50 on New Year's on New Year's Eve it was actually colder in my hometown city oh god I was not expecting that at all it was colder in my hometown city than it was in the North Pole yes. Not only that, but it was also colder here than it, w than it was on Mars. That's right. You'd be better living off on Mars or the North Pole than where I currently live right now. Yeah. So, stay away from Canada. If, you, if you're interested in moving to Canada, don't. Just, <laughs> Just push don't. Can't stop but yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, it does get really hot, and, like, to the point, like, when I didn't have AC, I would be turning on, um, I don't know, I would be, I would have to take off my shirt, and I would just have to, like, laze around the house, and it sucked especially for, uh, sleeping, because it would be like, it, it's so hot, how are you supposed to sleep in the heat, man, you can't, I there's something, okay, I thought maybe, is there, no, there's no child on that ledge, is there, I don't think so. I just got the sudden urge to make sure I'm not missing any children's. Okay, that's where R4 is. Let's go over this way. It's weird, there's no enemies here. Like now, well, now I've killed them all, but normally when you kill enemies, it's like that's when you're done with it and you continue on. But we're not with Patrick. Oh god, this is a bad idea. We're not gonna make it in time. Uh, no, we're not. Okay, well, at least I showed you guys what to do. You have to throw that to the next ledge. Right. This kind of got to do this in one run. Where the heck do we go? Oh, there. Like, where the heck do we go? Here we go. Yo. Yo, bro. Yo. Some bo yo. I'm the greatest rapper ever in the weather. You weather where you think you're from or not. If you want my sweater. I'm hot. Oh, my God. I missed. Uh, oh, dang it. How do I even do that? I'm like, sure I missed pressing or uh, risk grabbing it there for a second. But still, I was pretty close. I'm missing two, at least two children here. I don't know where the heck they are. Uh, well, I already messed that up. Oh, great. Come on, just explode. Alright. Grab the next one. Quickly. No, are you serious? Ah, so well, screw this place. Let's go down here. Where's the freezy fruit at? We're not BFF freezy fruit. Sucker? Is it over there? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's go over here. Grab that freezy fruit. Crazy fruit is gonna move ya! Oh, nope, I was trying to grab it. Okay, now we can also use this. We'll take it with us. I'll take you with me! Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, jeez! 
I was not watching the timer at all. I probably should have thrown that. <laughs> oh, but it puts me up here. So, oh, there's a child up there. So that's how I, I need to make it to there. Okay, so this is not the way we need to go. After, why would I do this? Oh. Oh. What the heck is that? What's down there? I wonder if it's down there now. No, I know that just takes me up here. What's down here? Is that just for if I fall? Apparently. Okay. Oh, and everything's a spot too. Dang it. Holy crap. Is there a leaf I'm supposed to jump on there? No, I'm just supposed to make this jump. Well then. Well then. Okay, now go. Now go. Now go. Now go. Once again, you can't jump with these fruit, with these throw fruits. Uh, oh. <laughs> Alright. You, sir, need to get out of here and not knock me down, because I don't feel like doing that again. Oh, God. Part of me really wants to make that jump. Would that be pointless? For 50? Really? That's not worth it. Come on, let's be honest. Yay, we're one third through this. Oh, here, we can make it from here, though. Yeah. But not, also not worth it. Alright, no! I was like, where's this gonna take me? And then I guys. Oh, uh, but then that's not really that bad. So bad, 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 bad. Arf's gone. It's weird. Oh, God! Are you serious? I'm looking for Arf! My best buddy, Arf! Get a dog, little longy, in case you couldn't hear that. That was kind of funny the first time I heard that. Get a dog, little longy, get a dog! Alright. Oh, make the jump! There we go. Can we have gone up there as Patrick 2? Is there anything that way? I don't know. Alright, let's actually do this as, um, at least decently as Patrick this time. Okay. We don't need to go up there. This is something we can't get to as anybody else, I believe. There's also a leaf over there. It's, there's no time to make that. No, okay, but we can't get up. Where's this lead? No way important. What's this do? Ah, okay. I was like, where the heck do we go? How do we get over there? I guess we could have used the freeze food to go back. But still. Um, I guess we'll go over here. Because, you know, why not? Yellow swag. I guess we could come over here as Spongebob, too, if we want to. If we Oh. Yeah, we could have went up there to Spongebob and then came over here to Spongebob. If you want to Spongebob, 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 Spongebob. Alright, let's do this pro platforming in one go. Oh my god, I'm so good at this game. I am so good at this game. So good. Oh. He's like, what's this gonna do? What's this gonna do? And then there we go. My, my question was answered almost immediately. Uh, oh! Of course. The horse up. Oh, where's this gonna respawn me? Oh god, all the way up here. I'm Why do I keep falling stupidly like that? Actually, I might be able to make it over there. No. That's not. Okay, fast forward away. Okay, I'm back. And here we go for the hundredth time. Hand grenade pins in every line. So. So. Oh, oh, I even got that shiny object somehow. Awesome. I was kind of... I was going to jump for the shiny object and be like, wait, that's pointless. And I'm going to have to start over again. But no. Okay, and we finally found the third camper. And that's all the campers they show in the cutscene. So I'm assuming that's all that there is for campers in this area. Ah. And I can go over here. And then jump in here. Now you need to change back to SpongeBob and make it to the end of the level. And then we can start off with the next section of this area. Next, Where, wait, where's the bus stop? Oh, there it is. Okay. What's SpongeBob? I'm assuming I have to go with SpongeBob. I'm still not really understanding. Sure, I guess that's a minor convenience that they put the box over here for when you go back after you get the camper. But I feel like it would have been a lot more convenient if they put it at the end of the level, like you do for every other portion of the game. I don't know, I find it freaking weird, do you guys? I don't freaking know. Leave a comment down below with what color your hair is. I, I don't know how those two relate, but I mean, we can pretend they do. Oh, that's weird. Those guys, those flamethrower guys don't seem to respond. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe already. My name's Chris, and the next one, we'll go to the kelp swamp. And oh god, I remember this place. Oh god, I'm scared of the puzzle. Oh god, dance, but don't dance to the music. Right, talk to you guys later. Peace.